Hey guys, welcome back. I want to keep it real simple today and just paint a tree in the snow. I'm using a canvas panel by Fredericks and this paint is craft paint and the color is midnight blue. I'll be mixing that with a little bit of white, also craft paint, and a tiny bit of alizarin crimson. This one is golden fluid acrylics. Now I'm mixing up a little bit of ultramarine blue by Color by Felix with the craft uh, white paint. And now I'm just taking a bit of both of those colors and mixing those together. This one is alizarin crimson, also by Golden Fluids. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the first color and mix that in. And then I also add some white. Now I'm just getting out a little more white paint and I'm going to use a mop brush. This one is from Hobby Lobby and I also use some by Color by Felix. If you need a little bit more help blending the way that I'm going to blend this painting, I do have another acrylic blending tutorial. I have several actually, but the most recent one I think is the best. Um, but if you want to go watch all four of them, I won't complain. <laughs> Um, anyway, so if you need help, I do have those tutorials available. So basically what I'm going to do is just grab a lot of paint on my brush, just really load it up, and just kind of cover the whole canvas, and then I'll take a clean and dry mop brush and swirl those colors together to blend, and then I'll use another clean and dry mop brush to crisscross applesauce, <laughs> um, just to remove all the brush strokes. Normally I use a lot of different colors to mix up my green, but this time I was feeling kind of lazy. <laughs> so I just got out some craft paint and the color is ivy green, English ivy I think, or ivy green. And I added a little bit of Prussian blue golden fluid acrylic. And uh, mixed those colors together to get the green for my tree. The brush that I'm using is Deco Enchanted. And they have a really long handle and they have that round tip um, I think I kind of show you like a closer up view of it later on and using this kind of brush is really handy for painting this kind of tree and you might be wondering why I'm outlining my tree because I don't normally do that if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I have a really bad habit of overdoing it and getting carried away making my trees way too fat so I've decided that I'll start kind of sketching out an outline and try my best to stay, you know, like right within those lines or, or really close to it.
I want to share a little tip with you real quick. Well, when I used to paint my trees, I used to make them straight on the bottom, like the white line that I'm showing you. And I realized that that was one of the reasons why my trees did not look very realistic. So instead of making them straight, I make them round like this. And I turn my brush to the side and I just use the, the edge and the tip of the brush and I paint the branches like this. So they look like they're hanging down. And as I work my way towards the middle, they become straighter. And then as I work my way on around the other side of the tree, they start to hang at the other angle, like opposite to the other side. Then I'll go back up to the top of the tree and I'll extend a few branches and I'll, I'll swoop some of them up and um, drag some of them down just to give the tree a little more, a little more character. I don't want it to be like a perfect little cone shape. <laughs> And now I'm just using another mop brush and I'm going to start to add a little bit of shadow underneath the tree and then uh, cast shadow behind it. And I kind of go over this part several times. Um, I keep covering up too much of the bottom of my tree and then I have to add more green. So you'll see me kind of mess around with that for a little while. Uh, you're not missing anything in this part that I'm speeding up. I'm just adding a little bit of water to my brush and uh, just kind of filling in that background a little bit more. And now I'm just kind of uh, building my shadow layer. I apply a really thin layer of the shadow color and then uh, let that dry and then add a little bit more until I get it as dark as I want it. This side of the tree got a little too fat, so I had to cover it up. I'm using that same brush that I used to paint the tree to put a little more detail in the shadow on the ground. And then I use my mop brush with the other color on it just to kind of blend that together because I don't want the shadow of the tree on the ground to be too hard. I want it to be pretty soft around the edges. Now I'm going to use a mixture of the colors that I made at the beginning and start to add some shadows for the snow.
I'm going back in with a little bit of green because I overdid it with the snow. <laughs> um, and then I add a little bit of black as well, just in a few little areas, uh, mostly around the bottom of the tree because I wanted that to be real dark. Now I'm going to use my fan brush and a little bit of white paint. I'm going to paint the snow uh, detail on the ground. And I'm painting it the same way that I would paint grass. I've just got some white paint on the edge of the fan brush and I'm just tapping it onto the canvas. I don't want to use just white for the snow detail on the ground in the shadow area. I want to use the shadow color that I used from earlier and add just a little bit of white and using the same method I'll tap because I want all of the ground to have the same texture, just not the same color. Now I'm going to use a really old and worn down mop brush and I've got some of that uh, shadow color on the brush and I'm just going to kind of swirl it right over top of the shadow side of the tree just to darken everything up a little bit more because I like a lot of contrast. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching.